Awesome. Hey everyone, it's Shanna from the Five and Family Homestead. Okay, so we have something to tell you guys. It's a little bit of a surprise. You might can hear them, but a couple videos back, I think we told you that we had sent some of our silky eggs off to our friend's house. They have an incubator and they were going to hatch our eggs for us. Um, we gave them, I think we gave them 12 um, but unfortunately we only had one that survived. We had two actually hatch, but only one survived. And when my friend texted me and said we only have one, I knew she needed a friend. I assume it's a she and that's what I'm wishing for is a she because in my world most of the time, anytime we get chicks, they end up being roosters. So I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. Anyways. So I knew we were going to have to probably go to our local tractor supply company and buy um, her some friends. I talked Tobin into one and then on the way there I got him up to two and the weirdest thing happened, four jumped in the box. Four. Just jumped in there. Four friends. He came around the aisle and the guy was like, okay, so you got four chicks and he his eyes got real big and I was like, what? I didn't I didn't ask for four. That's crazy talk. Anyways, so we have four Easter eggers. We've never had that breed before. We're very, very excited about that. And we have our Silky who looks just like her mom. She's the same color as her mom. There's one of the chicks right there. Um, these are the Easter eggers. Uh, tractor Supply guarantees their pullets, but we all know how Tractor Supply can come, sometimes get that wrong. Um, I'm hoping they are. I really do. But if they end up being roosters, they're going to be on the road because we don't keep roosters. But anyways, we thought we'd kind of show you your set, our setup real quick. It's a real simple brooder right now. Um, like Tobin said in our other video, y'all stay tuned because we've got some big news when it comes to hatching things. Um, so we're going to be doing this more often. So Tobin said he would put a brooder together. But for right now, we have a makeshift one until we can kind of figure out what we're going to do with them. So anyways, I'll turn the camera on and I'll show you what we got. Well, why is the silky one out? All right, here they are. The four Easter eggers. And then there's the baby. And are the silky. It's acting like... I'm not sure what's going on. She's acting kind of scared. They were not nice to her the first day we put them in. We got them and about an hour later put her in with them and they were not nice. But they seem to be doing better. Um, they're pecking at her because um, her she's a little wet. Um, this video is kind of out of order. Uh, so you saw, you'll see here in just a minute, I had to clean her little bottom. She had a pasty pasty bottom so I had to clean her up so she's a little wet but <laughs> anyways this video is out of order but it doesn't matter so we got her feed here we got their water I put uh, rocks in their water um, just because chicks can drown so um, they can drown themselves so I have uh, rocks in there to help them I don't know what's wrong with her she's acting very weird. speaking of water I just got in the pool I just got out of the pool yeah Look at that. Water. Yeah. Anyways, we just want to show you guys what we got. So, hopefully, everyone lives and we have healthy babies. Okay, so I think one of our chicks, the silky chicks, she has um, pasty butt. So, we're going to clean it off. I'm going to use a little bit of Epsom salt, some hot water, and I'm going to soak her in her little booty in it for a little bit and we're going to try to get it off. She does not like being held. She doesn't like being inside so we'll see how well Oh, goes. she she likes me holding her. No, she doesn't. Yeah, she does. No, she doesn't. Okay, let's see how this goes. So, she at least your water's hot. Mm. Hold on, hold on. Mm. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we're just going to soak it and try to see if it can loosen up the, the little poopies. Oh, she does naked. I'm gonna put it in there just a little bit longer. You're gonna have to sit down, babe. There you go. <laughs> the water's warm. It just has some 
Epsom salt in it. Okay, 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 I know, I know, I know. And see? I wiped it all off. Can so, you poop now? Yeah. It's real important that you watch babies like that because that could be really bad for them, so. Can I get blogger? No. Okay, we're gonna go put her back with her friends. Okay, are we done? Mm-hmm. So, after how long? Oh, well, um, after, we've been working on it. This is our third time to work on it, I think, um, over the last few weeks. And it's finally, we finally what, got together. What is it? It's a model engine. And I, if y'all have watched a lot of our videos last live stream, it will say that I'm in trucks. We'll talk about that. And this is my style. And then look, three, two, one. It actually works. It actually works. And there, those are the spark plugs. This is the exhaust. Exhaust. And yeah. then here's the fan. And yeah. half after three weeks. About yeah. About three weeks, it's finally working. So this is the crankcase. Crankcase, and then this um, is the uh, the rocker arm cover. Mm -hmm. Rocker arm cover, and then we got the springs that let air out. Yep. What is this right here? This is. What is that? That is the carburetor. Yep. And what is this? That right there, or is the? That's the that's the intake side. Mm -hmm, that's that's the where the air goes in. Yeah. And this is the output, or where the air, the air goes exhaust. out, the exhaust. So like in a car, when your exhaust comes out, this right here makes the exhaust come out and goes into your, yep. into your car. And this is, so this is the front of the engine where the, where the fan's at, and what would attach right here to the back of the engine? The back of the engine would be the car? Where the, where the clutch is at? Oh yeah, the clutch. And the, what, what's part of the clutch and the, what, the big part? Uh, the transmission. The trans what transmission yes. makes all makes the tires turn. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> if you might be thinking that clicking, it's it's supposed to do that. They told us to do that, and and it, it just looks weird. But this, after three weeks of work, and I'm proud of it. You so, be. And I thought it would be like it would automatically turn off or, uh, or anything, but you um, there's like a switch, but. At night, we're gonna have to just <laughs> unplug it. <sighs> well, I'm just trailing to the bottom. <laughs> been sitting on this front porch since I was born. My mom gave birth to me on that bed right there and left me. I've been a fighter ever since I'm young. I like catching chickens, pigs, and cougars. Oh. Okay. I gotta get something off my chest. I got a long lost son. I had him 10 years ago. Today. I've never met him since. He's a dog. You know he's my son when he likes his whiskey. It's whiskey?
We gotta go celebrate. Oh no! Put your cast on. You got a broken arm. Oh, Drink some medicine. Make it feel better. It's your vaccine. And you're fine. Get up. Put your cast on. Well, little peanut broke his thumb. Did a little test on them, and yep, snapped that thing right in half. That cougar, those things are vicious. You gotta be careful around here. Cougar. Yep. Sorry, besides the fact that he snapped his arm in half, we're gonna go on our expedition for the episode. So. <coughs> right. So, in the last episode, we found Big Buck. And now we gotta find Big Buck's brother. Yeah. Well, let's go on that expedition. Where's your big brother? That's what I thought. Give me a direction where he is at. Okay. 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 Perfect. Let's go find Big Buck brother. We don't need that no more. There you are! Where's the big, big brother? That's what I thought. So guys, the time has come. It's the end of the video. If y'all want to see another video like this, leave in the comments if you want to see episode 3. Hopefully y'all enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed making it. So, make sure y'all like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.